Hello there you lovely people, I hope you're safe and I hope that you're well. In this video I would like us to continue exploring the importance of boundaries. Just to recap, boundaries are the kind of invisible lines and rules that we have in order to protect ourselves, in order to protect our time, our love, our energy, our physical and mental health. So even though I've come up with five boundaries that I think would be good for any human being out there, what I would encourage you to do is just to consider what's important to you in your life. Because if you have a hobby or a sport that you're really passionate about, for example, then maybe you need to consider specific boundaries around that. So it's just not necessarily just these five, but these are five just for you to consider. My first boundary that I would like you to consider is about the importance of physical boundaries. So physical boundaries are there in order to keep you safe. It's about you respecting your body, you respecting your right to privacy and having a certain element of that safe space. It's also when it comes to those physical boundaries, it's about the importance of eating a healthy, varied diet. And it's also about the importance of sleep. You are gonna hear so many people say about diet and about sleep and things like that, but actually this is about you having those set boundaries. And with that, it's it may be, for example, that if somebody's sitting too close to you that you just politely say, oh, I'm just gonna take a step back just to give myself a bit more space. It might be actually I eat three meals a day and I need to have something to eat right now. It's about you having these elements of, of what is acceptable and making sure that you stick to them. My second boundary for you to consider is the importance of mental and emotional boundaries. So the importance of this particular boundary is to remind yourself that you are you, okay? There is nobody out there that looks like you, walks like you, talks like you, has the same name as you, that has the same fingerprint as you, okay? Therefore, you are unique. You are going to have your own thoughts and feelings, but the importance of these boundaries is that then other people cannot invalidate your thoughts or feelings, that they cannot criticize you, that they cannot put you down. Now, the fact in life is that people are going to do that. That's unfortunately what some people do to make themselves feel better. That's actually a different video altogether. But with the importance of these boundaries is you kind of just looking after yourself, allowing yourself to kind of feel validated for you to validate your own thoughts and feelings but also to remind yourself that you are not responsible for other people's thoughts or feelings, okay? You are not responsible for other people, you are responsible for yourself. Let me give you an example of maybe this particular boundary is realizing that maybe a sixth form or school this week, it's been really, really busy and you've just kept going and going and going and actually it's the weekend and do you know what I need to do? I need to have a mental health day or I actually need to slow down and I need to, go for a walk or actually call somebody and offload to somebody and, and kind of just allow you to recognize how you're feeling. My third boundary for you to consider is the importance of spiritual or religious boundaries. This boundary for me is really, really important because you are entitled to believe in whatever you want to believe in. And people again might not necessarily respect that, let me give you an example, is that actually if you're somebody that before you want to have your dinner, you want to, to pray, then it's maybe just kindly saying to other people, I'm just going to take a moment to pray. It's about other people hopefully having the respect for you, but it's about you making sure that you implement these boundaries for you in order to protect yourself. My fourth boundary for you to consider, certainly for the older ones, is the importance of having those sexual boundaries. This particular boundary is obviously for the older ones, but this is just so important, so important. When it comes to this boundary, it is your body, it is your life, it is your rules, okay? And with respect and dignity that you deserve to give to yourself, I need you to make sure that you stick to these boundaries. Consent is so, so important. But with that, it's about you having that respect and that kind of that love for yourself first, okay? And with that, it's about you having this, these standards that, for example, let me give you one, is that actually I only kiss on the third date. It's about you having this level of understanding about what you expect from yourself and not moving those boundaries for anybody. It's about you looking after yourself. And finally, my fifth boundary that I really think that we should all consider is the importance of having time boundaries. 
Now, with this boundary, this is one of the hardest ones because we become people pleasers for some of us. We are so used to saying yes and so used to doing things that we don't want to be doing. But actually, what I'm asking you to do is I'm asking you to consider what is it in life that for you, you are prepared to spend your time doing and not doing. And with that, it might even be the people that you're hanging around with. It's about making sure that you have these boundaries that protect your time, precious time. And with that, let me give you an example. It might be actually that I don't do any schoolwork after eight o'clock of an evening. It's just about you kind of making sure that you're putting yourself first and you're spending your time on the things that you want to be doing. So there you have it. There are five healthy boundaries for you to consider and implement. Obviously, like with any of the videos, it's you taking what you want, you taking what you need and you tweaking it. But my biggest message is the importance of these boundaries because if we can just work on these at your age, then boy, oh boy, it makes life easier when you get older because then you will know, actually, hang on a minute, that isn't how friends treat me and that isn't acceptable. And it will just make your life easier. So yeah. Anyway, take care, stay awesome and I'll see you next week. Bye everybody.